Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome to another MAMG Let's Play. Today we're going to play a game called When Yandere's Cry. Now this is a game that I've been trying to get to run for the longest time, but come to find out I was missing one of the uh, runtime packages to get the game to launch. So we're good now. Um, we're good to go. Uh, I don't know anything about this game. Clearly by the title, I'm guessing it's a nod to Higirashi, um, but also like the Yandere style gameplay. I don't know what to expect. Uh, Dear Summoner told me that I should be playing this game, so thank you for the recommendation. I'm sure I'm going to regret it later. Let's just see what it's about. Would you like to play the tutorial? Uh, sure, yeah, I know nothing about this game, so... Welcome to the tutorial! Thank you! Here we will teach you the basic controls and concepts of the game. Use the arrow keys to move your character, press enter, space, or Z to select OK. Press X or escape to cancel. Try, the, uh, uh, try it on the objects around you. Easy enough. Are you gonna like jump scare me? Uh, Nishiki. Okay, a very well made sculpture. I don't recognize the person though. View controls. Ah, uh, no, I'm good. Be careful of what lurks in the shadows. Thank you. A very stylish case. It's filled with very antique displays. Hi, who are you? A very creepy looking doll. Press F40s. Nah, no, I don't need to go full screen. It's gonna mess up my recording right now. The information on Yanderes. Sure, what do you have to tell me about Yanderes? Yandere is a portmanteau of two Japanese words, Yanderu, meaning to be sick, and Dere Dere, which is defined as strongly and deeply exhausted, infatuated, moonstruck, head over heels, or love struck. But in this case, love struck. Uh, throughout the game, you will encounter the Yanderes. You don't know it, but they will be watching you, hidden from plain sight. Getting in contact with them will deplete you of health and sanity, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Be sure to use the shift key to run faster. Got it. Try to interact with objects as much as you can. Sometimes they might contain some clues, other times it's something else. Okay, uh, this one contains different kinds of books, mostly novels. Okay. Can I go through here? Do you want to open the curtains? <laughs> Don't! Yeah, let's do it. Am I gonna get attacked by Yandere? The things you see here are very important on your journey. The clock will be your save point and the note will be your guide. Keep your eyes open for these two. Okay, read it, sure. Try to read every note and letter you can find. You must be able, uh, you might be able to be the one to discover the dark past of Von Versailles Mansion. Kosuke Shi. Okay. Do you want to open the save screen? Sure. I mean, we all know I'm a big baby. I can't save. Okay, cool. I'm glad I did that. <laughs> um, so now what? Do we just keep going? So I can run? Whoa, you can run! Huh. It looks like his hands are in his pockets, but maybe they're not. Maybe he's swinging his, his wrists. Do you want to open the curtains? Sure. What's next? Hello. Read it? Sure. Uh, okay, March 2nd, 2016. Press Z, spacebar, enter to move through doors. There's a door on the right. Try it. Are those all the different yanderes? In here, you can view descriptions of different characters. Go to the door on the right when you're ready. Do I want to do this? Oh, hello there. My name is Yuna Kurosawa. This place is a little creepy, don't you think? View description, sure. Why not? Let's let's learn as much about these people that we can. Yuna is an athletic but still a well-mannered type of person. She likes teasing other people, especially if she has feelings for them. She is also a sophomore and one of Nishiki's classmates, age 16. Okay, Mai. Hello, I'm Mai Miyamoto. How are you doing? Have you been good today? Sure. Mai is Nishiki's childhood friend and love interest. After the two got together, they decided to go on a mountain trip. She's a very kind and responsible type of person. She goes to a different school than Nishiki. Oh, that's sad. Look at that. I look pretty nice today. Oh, are you going to be full of yourself? Nishiki's a sophomore student. He's very friendly, attentive, and most of all, he's very kind. Especially towards girls, whoever they may be. And that's why they all swoon for him. Good day. My name's Akiko Higurashi. Higurashi, huh? Okay. Be nice to me, okay? Sure. Akiko is a junior high school student. She's very girly and collects lots of cute stuff. She's also very childish and not very knowledgeable about love as she lacks experience in it. She's only one year younger than the other people. But okay. I mean, um, I I'm Kira. 
Kira Sonozaki. Nice to meet you. Hehe. <laughs> you sound like you could be a little creepy. Kira is a junior, and she is what most people would describe as weird. <laughs> Uh, she's also into the occult and not a sociable type of person, but she does open up to people she likes. And lastly, we have Sunako. Good evening. My name's Sunako Hanabi. Okay, Hanabi is Japanese for fireworks, so interesting uh, choice there. <clears throat> Would you mind getting me my chauffeur? I have some things I need him to do. Sure. Sunako is a very sophisticated and classy type of person. She speaks in a very well-mannered way, but is also a natural leader and mastermind. She is highly respected and also a senior. Okay, so she's the oldest out of everybody. Gotcha. What's in here? Anybody in here? <clears throat> nope. Okay. This story, or rather my story, started about three months prior. I had a friend. A childhood friend who I fell in love with a very long time ago. After years and years of mustering up the courage to finally confess, I did. I took her to the park one day. After a little bit of beating around the bush, my childhood best friend and I finally admitted our long-kept feelings for each other. Oh, that's sweet. It was the most golden time of my life. Is that why the Yandere's cry? Her name was Miyamoto Mai, a beautiful angel disguised as my best friend is how I would describe her. About a few weeks ago, Mai and I decided to spend summer on a mountain trip. We wanted to enjoy the company of nature and also celebrate our newfound relationship. The days were filled with fun and we both enjoyed the company of each other. After a few days, we got a few surprising visitors. Oh, a few girls from my school, girls who are fairly close to me, are also having a vacation on the same mountain. Oh, what a random coincidence! I wonder how that happened! Maya and I decided to spend the rest of the days with them, as we've pretty much already enjoyed our solitary time together. That could be read in a couple different ways. The girls quickly became friends, and the remaining days were filled with laughter and relaxation. On our last night, Maya and I made a promise to meet under a certain tree at 9 p.m. I came half an hour earlier to make sure that I'd be there before her. And so I waited. I waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited, but she never came. It was around 11 p.m. when I decided to finally look for her. You waited two hours at the tree? You are very patient. If you're wondering, was I able to find her? Don't just trail off like that. Then the answer is yes. Yes, I found her. When Yandere's cry. Okay, so I should go ahead and make note that I have not played the Higurashi games. Um, It is a game that I'm very interested in, but for YouTube reasons, I can't play it on the channel. So it's just one of those things that I put on the back burner because I, I would love to experience it with everybody. What happened? Okay, I need to shut up. But anyways, any of the references and stuff, I probably won't get to Higurashi, just so you know. N no. What have you... What have you done to Mai? Nishiki-san. Well, um, it, it was because... She was getting in her way, Nishiki-kun. It's her fault for meddling with you. She's not done anything. And what the hell do you mean meddling with me? You demon. Oh, didn't you know? Her heart was set on you. So, I had to take it. It's because we love you, Nishiki-san. We've always loved you. Yet she was always, 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 always right beside you. I can't take it. Now, Nishiki-kun, give me your heart. I'll cherish it always. No! Come with me, Nishiki-san. I'll love you till the end, no matter what. No matter what. Both of you are sick in the head. Oh God. <laughs> We're screwed. This can't be happening. No, this can't be happening. My. She may still be alive. She needs medical attention. I need to look for help. 
If if her heart's missing, I don't think it's a question of medical attention. Okay, so we got our uh, health, sanity. We have an insanity meter? Can we go crazy? Interesting. Okay. Let's go look for help. Be sure to interact with objects in the area. Check your inventory for items that you find. Okay. Anything? Nothing seems to be hiding. Hiding here? That's a very weird way of phrasing things. Like you're already expecting somebody to be hiding in, in a tree. Oh god. It's just an old stump, nothing interesting. What's a barrel doing here? Do you want to check it out? Are they going to be in here? Yes. Garbage, rotten food, dead mouse. Oh, what's this? You found an old note. Hmm? What's this note? Oh my god. I'm on my way to a mansion hidden deep inside these mountains. A friend of mine recommended me as a maid to a very rich man named Raphael von Versale. My friend told me that he's a bit of a womanizer and that I should limit contact with him as much as I can. But the pay, it was too much to refuse. With just a year of working there, I could set myself up a shop, possibly support my whole family and my poor little siblings. I've made up my mind. I mean, it can't be that bad, right? Umi Nishimoto. Okay. A little bit of backstory there. Oh, there's a grave right up there. Why is there a grave up there? Um, okay, so which way do I want to go? Do I want to go left or right? Let's go left. Um, hello? Anybody waiting for me? It's an old stump. You've said that before already. I don't, like, they said I need to, like, um, nothing interesting about this rock. I better go hurry and look for help. They said I need to check everything, so I don't know if I need to be careful? Or if I'm okay? Like, how careful do I need to be? Wait, isn't this where I was? Yeah, what? Weird, okay. How did that happen? Is this one of those magical forests where you're trapped and you can't get out? Oh, I don't know about this. What's in here? God dang it! You were murdered. Dude, also you have a very girly scream. That sucks! I didn't even get to save! Alright, let me go back to where I was and we'll see if there's anything else there. Oh! This is different? Okay! Is that... Yuna? I was just wandering around the forest, like, it keeps looping you back, so... I kept retrying different routes and now I've run into another girl, apparently. Yuna! Yuna! Nishiki, what are you? Yuna, you have to hear what I have to say. Something really bad just happened. I couldn't believe... Whoa, 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 Nishiki, calm down. Tell me what's wrong, slowly, okay? <sighs> Sunako-san and Akiko, they tried to kill Mai. Th they what? They're coming after me, Yuna, and they'll get you too. We better run. Wait. Oh, we're going to take her with us, huh? Bad idea. An abandoned mansion. Yuna, let's go inside. They won't find us there. Nishiki? She's gonna kill you. I wonder if there's like any way, like, I feel like I'm gonna die. Is there any way to survive this? Why are we running? What do you mean? I could kill them for you. <laughs> Awkward silence between both of them. What, what did you just say? I said I could kill them for you. Without them, nothing will come between us after all, right? Ni. She. Ki. <laughs> yep. There you go, buddy. You bastard. You're one of them? What do you mean, one of them? I only belong to you, Nishiki. And you belong to me. <laughs> well, we're screwed. Is she gone? <laughs> nope. Nishiki, open the door, please. I fall already. Don't even try to get inside, you bastard. Nishiki, that hurts my feelings, you know. But I still love you. I'll see you later then. Ni shi ki. Well, isn't she a lovely one? I think she's gone. Finally. Now I need to find some supplies to defend myself while I look for help. There's three of them out there. I need to be careful. 
Yes, you do. Oh, and we can finally save. Yes, I would love to save. That's a lovely save sound you got there. Are we good? Okay, cool. Um, alright, sure, whatever. There's a note. There's a hard note. <laughs> a note hard pasted here. Read it? Yeah. April 3rd, 1934. A terrible incident occurred in this very mansion two years ago. There's an entity in here that we cannot stop nor seal. Our only option is to abandon this place and hope that people who read this leaves immediately. I can tell you no more, but please stay away from the shadow. Edward Warrenstein, paranormal investigator. I really hope that's not true. Oh, I'm sure it is. A very well-made sculpture. I don't recognize the person though. This bottle of wine must have been here for a very long time. An old book, nothing interesting. Okay. The shelf contains some antique decorations. These statues, I feel like they're watching my every move. Stay away from the shadows, huh? What about this door? I can't let them in. <laughs> That's true. Sack of old books, nothing interesting. The shelf contains some very antique decorations. What's a crate doing here? I don't have any means of opening it, though. Okay. Um, hmm. So this door? This door is locked. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, what about this curtain? Is this an openable curtain? Guess not. This one's good. Oh god, I didn't know it was gonna be like this. An old antique wall clock. I thought it was just gonna be crazy girls, not freaking haunted mansions. This door is locked. Uh, My heart is stopped. So what's going on? Because what's in here? Oh yay, a doll! This creepy doll has a button behind it. Sure. Why, why did I do that? Well, this is creepy. Nope! Oh god, I can still hear it. Okay. Hmm, based on this diary, it seems like the owner of this house likes to play the piano. There's nothing in this drawer. Piano? I tried playing the piano once, I gave up after the third day. Well, good for you for sticking to it! <laughs> the clock looks unbalanced. Wait, there's something behind it. Check, uh, sure. Found the mysterious key! I wonder where I can use this. The floors are really broken, I need to proceed with caution. You know what, before we do that, I'm gonna save. I don't know if that doll thing was a bad idea though. Like, I feel like I, um, locked myself into like a really bad ending. Okay, um... Actually, will it work over here? Because this door was locked too. Try the key. Yes. The door is still locked. <laughs> At least they tell you. It's like, you want to try it? Yeah, it didn't work. Sorry. Try it here. Door's still locked. So it's not one of the doors that I have access to. Alright, well, let's go over here with the floor super unstable. And we can fall to our death. Okay. That's cool. I'm guessing I, if I ran, maybe I would have died? The door unlocked. Or maybe on the way back I can die. Who knows? An empty pot. Okay, what the hell is this weird liquid? Clearly wine. Here's another note. By Umi Nishimoto? So that was the maid, right? September 23rd, 1931. I've been working in the Von Versailles mansion for over three months now. The master of the house is indeed a very interesting man. Now the madame, she's nuts. Um, on my first days, she was very cranky, hot-headed, and very easily displeased. For my own sake, I decided to avoid her as much as I can. Leaving a room when she enters, using a different set of stairs when she's coming down or up, the other maids had it very badly. Most, if not all, have already been abused. Uh, hit with a broad plate or broom. Um, one even got burned by boiling water when madame got furious of her husband. 
I noticed the madame hiding things in different places. Just now she was placing something underneath the fireplace. I don't know what it is or what it's for, but I won't meddle with whatever she's doing. I'll try to keep this low profile as long as I can for now. I hope the mas the master doesn't take any interest in me. I feel bad for these people. I bet, more stacks of books just like any other. Okay. A Half Moon by Yuno Gasai. Interesting title. Okay, so the fireplace, an empty pot, empty pot, a uh, shelf contains some antique decorations, a broken picture of a man and a woman, they must be the owners. The statue gives me an ominous feeling. Yeah, I don't know if this has any supernatural stuff in it, but it might. Hey buddy, this guy's a name tag, Momon? This uh, shelf contains some very antique decorations, okay, fireplace? Wait, there's something glittering in here. Yeah, let's reach for it. Hmm? What's this? You found the statue room key. Now, where's this room? No idea. I don't like it though. A room of statues? Sure. No? The door's still locked. So I can't go that way. I gotta go back this way. Oh! <laughs> Please don't drop me. Please don't drop me. Okay. Ugh. Statue room, huh? I don't remember seeing one of those. Okay. So it's either over here or it's on the other side. Yes. It worked. It unlocked. Awesome. Cool. Oh, it's definitely a statue room. They weren't wrong about that. Something's etched on its nose. A? Phi? No. Okay, so piano. Clearly. Is this a safe? Um, no idea what you're trying to tell me. What? No idea. Wrong code! Thank you. It's empty. Uh, it's empty. It's empty. Yes. The door's still locked. Okay. So, that spells piano like it's scrambled, but I don't get if, like, that's supposed to be the order and each of those are supposed to be, like, a number? Or not. That's what I don't understand. I try to, yeah, okay, you gave up. Fine then. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. I'll go ahead and save and we will go, oh my God, I went to a completely different screen here. Um, I'll go ahead and save and then we'll check the other side of the mansion in the next episode and see if we can figure out what the safe code is and what that piano scrambled puzzle is as well. But yeah, very interesting, very creepy. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's go. You can feel it, isn't it? Your mind is unstable. Your memories are lies. Your soul is empty. No, shut up. Do you want to come back? Come back to where? What is the last real place that you recall? Who was the last real friend that you remember?